Okay, we're finally back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. It seems like I've been forever since I posted. And we're going to talk about the Phillies, which I haven't done a lot. People always ask me, why don't you talk about the uh, Eagles, Flyers, Sixers, Union, uh, Wings for that matter, all the other teams. It's just because I feel like that's too much for me to do and I would get way too, like, into it. And if you want to see those videos, go to Philly Sports Reports. He does the best videos, so you should go watch him because my videos are just, 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 uh, anyways, let's, let's just get into this news. I think we'll start with the biggest news of all coming out of this offseason. The Phillies have, well, probably not the biggest news now that I think about it. The Phillies have a new logo, and it's not going to be the one with the diamond around it. It's now just the one with the bell, and it doesn't seem that different. It's just taking away the diamond, basically. Here that is if you want to see it. On to the more entertaining player news, which I can't wait to get into some of this because I'm very stoked about this season. Start with the first trade that the Phillies made. J.P. Crawford is gone. I'm sorry, J.P. Loved ya. You didn't do much, though. You were basically, you know, gonna get chipped. But thank you for all you did for Philly. Now, a moment you've all been waiting for. Carlos Santana is no longer a Philly. Sing it loud and proud, Philadelphia. Carlos Santana is gone. We never had to deal with him again. Thank you. Now you may be wondering, who did we get in return for this ham and cheese sandwich? A Gene Segura, a freaking baller shortstop who batted like 304 last season. Juan Nicasio, who you may remember from Dodger Films videos way back when, when Dodger Films was actually good. Called you out, Dodger Films. And James Pezos, who I have been, you know... Got around to looking in too much, but I think he's a better pitcher than Nicasio. Um, I've heard Nicasio isn't the one that we wanted in this deal, but we kind of just took him. And uh, Pezos is the one that we wanted. So hopefully our bullpen gets a little bit stronger with those two in it, because everyone knows that we were garbage last season in the bullpen. Second trade, the Phillies got Jose Alvarez from the Los Angeles Angels for Luis Garcia. Garcia was horrible, so anyone is an upgrade from him. And one of my favorite signings of the offseason, the Phillies finally brought in some outfield talent. Bright Harper. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Kidding, that didn't really happen. I wish it happened, but it's Andrew McCutcheon. That's that's good too. McCutcheon batted 287 last year, and he's been an all-star and MVP, you name it. Andrew McCutcheon's been there. Primarily in Pittsburgh and then San Francisco. Then New York where he shaved his beard and now he's got his beard back in Philadelphia. He was running up the Rocky Stairs in that cool little hat. I enjoyed that clip. And if you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out on MLB.com. I don't want to get flagged for any copyright. Now the part of the video where you've all been looking forward to Manny Machado or Bryce Harper and my takes on them. I'd rather have Harper. However, is a strong possibility we get neither. But Scott... Boras, or Borjas, whichever one, usually sends the person to the highest bidder. The Phillies have the most money, the Yankees have, like, are out, and Harper said that Chris Bryant is not going to affect wherever he goes, so it's really between L.A. and us. On the other side, I've seen Manny Machado wanted by Chicago, and I, I don't really want him in Philly, but I'll accept him with open arms, and hopefully he... Forgets about his comments about Johnny Hustle and all that other stuff. And he becomes a really good player. But I wish we could just leave all that in the past. Anyways, I'm looking forward to the season. Hopefully it turns out well. And the birds, they are horrible. Go. Just. This is this is a disgrace right now. Alright? So this is all I have to look forward to. The Flyers, disgraceful except for Gritty. Gritty is the only thing that we have to look forward to. The Sixers. They lost to the Pacers and the Nets. Come on, guys. I mean, we're losing out here. This is the only team we got left. This is the only team we have hope for. Bring us in some hope, guys. Let's go, Phils. Well, I'm out, man.